everybody. I'm your host, Hub Centric. Today, we're going to be doing a review on the Cornwall Tools three piece carbon scraper set. I've had this set for going on about eh, roughly a year and a half to two years now, and it has been an amazing set. I love it. This is my go to scraper set. Don't get me wrong, I do like my razor scrapers, but when I really need to get, get out of the gasket really good, this is the set that I reach for. It comes in this little nifty plastic bolt blow molded case that's uh she's seen some wear and tear but uh you know what she's held up great the set is these three scrapers here they measure in roughly about four inches to about uh give or take five and a half and then give or take about seven to eight man that's how big that actually is wow you're just guesstimating yikes sorry fellas the handles are a soft grip kind of style which has a little divot right here to get a good grab of the finger and then a good grab up here of your thumb for a good scraping motion i personally love this handle design it is one of my favorites it is absolutely the cat's meow in my book and some people will disagree that's totally fine just a personal preference game at that Cornwall advertises this as their uh, premium alloy steel with a black black oxide finish to resist rust. Um, I haven't very much in the way, you know, gotten these things covered in water, but uh, these have been covered in coolant, diesel, ATF, which actually cleans the handles up really well. Maybe they need a bath and ATF here pretty soon. But anyways, uh, many kinds of grease, penetrating oils, gasoline, you name it. These things have been doused in it when it comes to the automotive field and they have just held up great. The finish is still there, still looks almost really new if you, you know, get my opinion out of it. But as you could tell, you know, starting to get some of that oxide finish to wear away, but it's not like I'm sitting here using these to you know scrape out carbon from brakes i really primarily use these things for gaskets and gaskets only i also do uh, with the big rigs we work out work on in my shop we do a lot of federal inspections and once you're done with that and if it passes the inspection or you know once you've repaired all the dot defects and then you know the truck needs to go back up the road we add a new dot inspection sticker to the side of the truck and you know those stickers are just a bear to get off sometimes and you know these are my little you know oh hey i need to go swap out the sticker i'll grab this sucker but other than that you know i don't really abuse these as much as i do a lot of my other tools i mean my personal opinion anything can be a hammer but you know what i haven't tried using these as a hammer so couldn't tell you guys on that aspect the shorty scraper and then the long boy are roughly about the same when it comes to width of the uh, the scraping end of them. But once you get into uh, this weird middle of the road kind of one, it's really thin. And honestly, I haven't used it as much as I have one and three, but I would definitely say, especially you guys who work on the Allison 3000, 4000 series transmissions, when you're trying to get those stupid paper gaskets out of there when you do the filter change, this thing is a lifesaver. That, and if you're ever doing uh, uh, DD13 or DD15 uh, oil pan gaskets, when you're trying to get that stupid silicone off of uh, the leading edge of the uh, the front of the block, or the, the timing cover and then the block or whatever, I'm, I'm getting things mixed up, I'm stupid. Anyways, when you're trying to get that stupid silicone out of there, this thing is a lifesaver. I love it. You can get it up in there in all those nitty gritty spots that you can't fit a scraper that's this thick in there. And then, you know, you're pretty much pissing up a rope trying to use a razor scraper. So this thing, such a lifesaver for stupid little inconvenient spots to get a scraper into that, that that's a joke. And those two, just way too big. Now, let's get into a downside here that I think we can all agree on. Price point tool truck price points you know what these completely reasonable right now on cornwell's website they're listed as 49.95 i want to say by my recollection i got these on promo i kid you not 35 bucks and you know what they paid for themselves within the first week flawless 
excellent for the price. I am not going to complain whatsoever. Yeah, it sucks. You know, trust me, I love paying 20 bucks for things all day long. After that, eh, it kind of sucks. But you know what? I, I would recommend anybody, if they got 50 bucks burning a hole in their pocket and they need scrapers, get this set. Seriously, well worth the money. If you're really big on if it needs to be made in the USA or not, I'm going to be harvest honest with you guys. I don't remember. Uh, Cornwall, as far as I could tell on their website, granted, you know, reading was never my strong suit, but as far as I can tell on their website, it does not list if they're made in the USA or not. And, you know, for a year and year and a half to two years ago, I don't remember what the box said. But you know what? 50 bucks, 35 for me, and the stupid crap that I usually do and the stuff I've put them through and they've held up this well and done this great for the price point, I don't care if it's USA made or not. And as some of you guys watch the channel, really doesn't matter. If the tool works great, tool works great. That's my own personal opinion. Please don't crucify me over it. All in all, this scraper set, if I was to give it a one out of 10 being the, the worst tools I've ever seen in this world and 10 out of 10 being God's gift to earth when it comes to tools, honestly, I'm gonna act, have to give it a nine absolute nine these have been amazing scrapers the only other caveat that i have found to these and this can go back to personal preference is i just don't like the angle sometimes sometimes i wish they were bent up just a little more now don't get me wrong i'm sure i can heat the heck out of this thing and bend it myself but you know what honestly price point and that are small stupid little complaints out of me for these things Otherwise, they've been amazing, and on my scoreboard, they get a nine. Absolutely amazing set. I could not recommend this thing enough to you guys. Like this, if you have a Cornwall dealer, and you need scrapers, and you, you know, you see this, don't sleep on it. Buy this set, trust me. You will not regret it. I just wanna say thank you guys all so very much for watching. I really appreciate the view. I hope this video was uh, entertaining and informative for you. Please consider liking the video if you liked it, disliking if you didn't like it. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. Uh, if there's a better scraper set out there, let me know. Honestly, I, I'm more than willing to uh, gain knowledge from, you know, the people who watch my videos or just anybody in general. And I, you know, hope we can learn a thing or two together. Please consider subscribing. It really helps me out. Helps the channel grow. I love making these tool review videos for you guys, as well as I have videos on my Drift Mazda Miata build series as well. And anytime I can be uh, turning a wrench and filming along the way and show you guys what I'm doing and hopefully it could be entertaining for you guys, who knows? That's all up to the eye of the beholder, I suppose. But again, thank you all so very much for watching. Y'all have a good one.